This is my smart RGB LED controller based on Arduino with a cool looking custom map and together I call it RGBX. And the BioMP XG pill makes it even more interesting. I wanted an over-engineered LED controller that is unique and no one else has except me. The reason I'm doing this is because I hate these crappy Chinese controllers which just have 16 colors, ugly remote, short range, frequent flickering and I won't stop and replacing the batteries is a huge pain in the ass. Also, every app on Play Store is ugly as hell. So I had to do something. That means struggling for 48 hours straight on a laptop with Core 2 Duo 2GB RAM running Android Studio. After this long torture, I had an app that did nothing but tells you how much you've rotated the color wheel. And after a few more years, I added Bluetooth functionality and now what's left was to test it using ESP32 because it has Bluetooth but then I realized I'll have to delete Android Studio in order to install the supporting files for this board because apparently my laptop does not have space either. It is as if the universe is forcing me not to complete this project. Luckily, it's me. I don't care what the universe wants. And with this overconfidence, I deleted Android Studio and got something working. But the problem with the ESP32 is that there is no password protection, anyone can connect to it. So I bought some parts to drive the 12V LED strip along with the 8C05 Bluetooth module, which is compatible with Arduino and the best thing is that you can set up a pane for authentication. So while waiting for the parts to arrive, I tried to reinstall Android Studio to make improvements in the app but unfortunately, I couldn't install it due to low space and because I wasn't going to pay $28 to publish my app on Play Store, it didn't feel useful enough to spend so much time and effort. When I could just use an online app inventor to do the same thing which is much easier for even a 16 year old to understand. So I recreated my app again on this website named Cordula and now that my app was kind of complete, and the parts I ordered arrived. I built this prototype with Arduino Nano, Bluetooth module and RGB LEDs to test everything out. So bit of more coding and wasting one whole day trying to implement a fade effect using for loops just to realize all of that crap could be done with just this. It was ready to be installed but before moving on to the final thing let me first explain how this works. So as you rotate the color wheel the rotation in degrees that is a value between 0 and 360 degree is sent through the Bluetooth accompanied with a percentage and a hash symbol to mark the start and end of a single value. These values are then sent at precise intervals. This is where the first improvement over all other apps on Play Store kicks in. All those other apps send out values so fast that the microcontroller is flooded with a ton of values and what it receives is garbage. So I use timers to send the values precisely after every 80 milliseconds. That way I can be sure that there will be no errors. And when you press fade, it sends out the value 400. And Arduino takes care of decoding those values to different brightness levels of red, blue and green channels. For those of you who don't know, RGB LEDs have only three colors, red, blue and green. And we can play with the brightness levels of these three colors to get any color. But you might wonder how color wheel rotation translate to different values. And that's how. Even I don't get it. Well, who cares? We can figure it out on our own. At the very top, we have red. So red is maximum. Then blue increases and then red decreases until blue becomes maximum. And this pattern continues. Simple. But the way I implemented it in code was extremely naive and I wasn't satisfied with it. So I came up with these graphs. And all of these are just equations of straight lines. And now the code is much more understandable. With this improvement, we can also have a control over the intensity. The only thing left now is to build the final circuit. In video, it's as simple as this, but it took me six hours soldering and breaking apart this bad quality board and finally putting it together on a breadboard. Let's plug this in and see how it looks. Connect the LEDs and 12V power and that's it. From now on, it won't turn on in that irritating disco mode like the Chinese ones do. I also updated the app to take advantage of the brightness control and the mode button also tells you which mode you are on. And nothing is smart unless it has voice recognition, so I added that too. Change the color to red. Orange. Green, blue, purple. The amount of satisfaction you get out of building a thing piece by piece starting from a blank piece of paper, the very first version of the app to a beautifully crafted UI and over a hundred lines of code is just insane. And it's not only smart but beautiful at the same time. Not of a 
There's one more really unique and exciting feature that I have saved for the last and that is it can react to your heart rate while you watch movies to provide that extra bit of thrill to your experience. This was possible because of the BioAmp EXG pill which was sent to me by Upside Down Labs, a Delhi based startup and this tiny sensor can measure ECG, EMG, EOG and EEG. I don't even know what those mean. And I didn't have to code anything because everything was available on the GitHub repo. So that's it for now, I could definitely add more features to it. Let me know what new features you would like to see. And if you wish to recreate this project, check out the GitHub link in the description. Oh and by the way, I had a few upgrades. So fill me up with some cool ideas.